everyone. Um, hey everyone, I'm Kim Hunter with Texas Vintage Addiction and today we're talking about Dixie Bell Mud. So it's, I'm using the brown, it does come in other colors, I think like white and black. I work with a lot of brown, so I typically use brown. Um, it is thick, it looks like that. Um, it, it basically does the job of that uh, joint compound, that uh, pink stuff that will turn like a creamish orangey color when it dries and it never like really stains well or, you know, it's always kind of weird. Um, what I like about this is it does dry brown. Um, lighter version of this, but still brown. Um, so what, I, um, what I've done is I did one video about how to apply it and I mentioned in the video that it needed to be scuff sanded. So I sped up the process. I used my heat gun, dried most of it. And um, now we're going to scuff sand it because I'm always saying scuff sand and nobody really knows what that is. So I have this like little sanding pad. It's real thin. I mean, real fine, maybe not quite 2000, but you know, um, just real light. It's, it's got foam on the back. So, you know, it kind of gives a little bit. And when we say scuff sand, we're just talking about no major sanding. This is actually how, when you get a piece of, uh, furniture and you want to paint it uh, using Dixie Bell products, uh, where I was talking about scuff sand, this is exactly what we're talking about. We're just talking about rubbing it up, getting that sheen off, and I am going to paint this piece, so why don't we just scuff sand it? So, just getting some of the shine off. You want to use your white lighting first. Got sand it. Um, I used white lightning and then I filled in with the Dixie Bell mud, my areas that were missing veneer. And now I'm stuff sanding and that's done. I'm not, you know, I'm not having to sand the whole thing down. That's the beauty of chalk paint. Another thing with uh, Dixie Bell products is I always talk about um, being able to use the mud with a stencil. And I do like this technique. It's not like, um, it's not like perfect when you're using a, a Dixie Bell Mud and a, trans, a stencil that's not sticky on the back. But I'll show you how to do that. It's real, it's a real simple. All right, so I've got my open mud. I don't even need that much. Probably not even that much. You never want to pour this stuff down the sink. Um, so when you're using supplies, make sure they're disposable or you wipe them down really well with a paper towel like this. We'll be wiped down with a paper towel and get as much mud off as I can. And then I'll probably run it over water or something, but you don't want to put this stuff in your sink. So what I'm doing is just my stencil's moving a little bit. That's why I said it wasn't a perfect process with a stencil that's not sticky. But even when you're painting over a stencil, it kind of does that. And just kind of smoothing it. All right, so when I pick this up, And voila, I have a raised stencil. Now when I go to paint this, it'd be nice and pretty. I'll show you what that looks like. Let me grab this plate over here. That way I can set all this stuff down. All right, so again, magic heat gun. Got my raised stencil. And this one didn't turn out so good. So I'll probably scuff sand that, right? Get some of the higher edges off. That looks about right. All right, so when you're working with raised stencils, it's important to kind of seal them a little bit first. So I'm gonna use a little bit of clear coat. Okay. 
Again, this is the clear flat. And when you're working with the Dixie Belle mud, you, if you're going to use it on a dresser or any kind of art project and you want that raised stencil, use clear coat. It dries pretty quick, so I'm just kind of applying it. And this will preserve it when I go to actually paint over it. So now it is ready to be painted. I'll give it a, uh, you know, like, should be dry in, you know, 15, 20 minutes enough to paint. If you really uh, want to make sure it's sealed in, you can wait two hours. Um, two hours is technically the drying time. Just uh, using the magic of a uh, hair dryer. Well, heat gun. Alright, so there's my dry piece. Let's see what it's going to look like painted. Normally, what I do is always um, scoot if I'm using, since I'm just painting this butterfly, I'm not. Uh, going to scoop it out, but normally what I would do is I would take my spoon, put it on a plate, uh, because you don't want uh, your paint drying on your lid, because uh, when you go to shake that up next time, it's going to be flaky on the inside. So what you'll do is you'll spoon it out, put it on a plate, and then you've got your paint always nice and fresh. But, uh, you know, this little little area here. Again, I'm no artist. That's what a ray stencil would look like. Um, it would be neat. I do have a different brush. I may go back over this with This is going to be a little slower. The metallics are a little bit more runny than um, the regular chalk paint. Best brush, so they give you an idea. And there you go. Um, if I needed, uh, you know, if I had more time, I could probably really make it look a whole lot better, but that's just a quick uh, video of how to use mud, how to scuff sand. Uh, this drawer is actually ready to be painted. And um, y'all have a great day.